Hey you guys, so you know that tension question we did in class? I just wanted to do a video on it. So I think tension is a bit weird because it's kind of, not that it's weird, but it's just a bit hard to teach in vectors if you have no physics background. So I think it's a touch unfair, but let's just try that one that I had trouble with. So you got that beam and then you've got a box that we said was, just make that a little bigger, um, 450 newtons. And then these chains are attached like this. And one was at 70 degrees and one was 78. I can't remember which one's which, but it doesn't really matter. So what's happening in this diagram is the, are these two tensions are pulling up like this. And this 450 newtons is pulling down like that. And nothing's moving. So all three of these vectors basically have to add up to nothing, right? Because the sign's not moving. So we've got two tensions in the wires, and we want to know what the magnitude of those tension is. What, what's the size of that? Okay, so um, to solve this question, you can use like the cosine law way of adding vectors, or you can split it into components. So I'm going to show each one. So if you want to use the uh, like head to tail method, so let's just say we. We're just going to add up. We know that T1 plus T2 must equal the downward force because that's why it's not moving. So we've got this vector here at an angle of 78, which means this would be 78 also. So this is our T2 vector. And then we've also got T1, which is going in this direction. And this one is at an angle of 70 to the horizontal, so that would be 70. And then we also know that our downward force um, must have these two tensions. When you add them up, they must exert a force directly vertical of 450 newtons because otherwise the sign would be falling to the ground, right? It would be getting lower and lower and lower. So therefore, when you add those two tensions together, they must be pulling upwards with the same force that's being pulled downwards, so that way the sign doesn't move. So that's why I'm drawing my vector up to the sky. Okay, now I know that this total angle right here is gonna be um, 148. I know that these are gonna be true right angle triangles because my 450 is vertical. So since this angle is 70, I know this guy would have to be 20 for the triangle to add up to 180. And if this one's 78, this would have to be 12 degrees. So I can set it up like this. So this is T1, vector T1, this one's T2, and that's the resultant vector in blue. So I'm adding up my two tensions. So now I can just do even sine law. So if I wanted to find the magnitude of vector T1, I could do T1 over sine 12 equals 450 over the sine of 148. And then using whatever you use, cross multiplying or dividing and multiplying by sine 12. I'm going to do this on my calculator now, times sine 12. I get 177 newtons. And then for the other one, T2, will be over sine 20. And then I'll have the same ratio over here, sine 148. Okay, so that will be <clears throat> 450 divided by sine 148 times sine 20. That'll be uh, T2's magnitude will be 290 newtons. Okay, so that's how you can find T1 and T2 pretty easily. I would say that's like a way easier method than using components because let's say you wanted to use components. Okay, so now you have, so here's your tension to oh, an angle of 78 degrees. Call that T2. And then you also have T1 which is at an angle of 70. So you have to set it up like, <clears throat> um, sorry, just lost my train of thought. 
you have to set it up so that your two vertical tensions, your two vertical components are going to eat, add up to 450 because both of those vertical components, you want that to equal your downward force of 450. So you would have to set that up like, you know this side here is going to be equal to um, the magnitude of T2 times sine 78. You know that's that side. And then, oh, time. Yeah, honey? Just do a short one. A short, a short time? Yeah. I don't know what short is. Do a short Peppa Pig. Okay, sorry. Um, sorry, I'm recording this at home and my kids are totally watching a show. Okay, so T1 sine 70, you could say, and then you can make an expression that's like, or an equation that's like T2 sine 78 plus T1 sine 70 is equal to 450 newtons. So you could say that. And then you can't solve that because you have two unknowns. So then you can make another expression that's like for your x components. You could say, I know this x component would be magnitude of T2 times cos 78. And this bottom one would be magnitude of T1 times oops, cos 70. So I know that my horizontal, since it's pulling this way and this one's pulling this way, I know that my horizontal ones would have to add up to nothing or they would have to equal zero. So I would say like T1 cos 70 would have to be equal to T2 cos 78. And then what I could do is I could isolate a variable and sub it in. So for example, if I wanted to isolate T1, oops, I could say it's equal to T2 cos 78 divided by cos 70. So now I've just made an expression for T1, which is this. So I, wherever I see a T1 here, I can actually sub this into here. And then that will just give me one unknown. So then I'll actually have T2 sine 78 plus this whole junk. So T2 cos 78 over cos 70 sine 70 equals 450. Yeah, and then I could just like actually figure out what sine 78 is. So I know that's like 0 0.978148 T2 plus, then I got cos 78 divided by cos 70 times sine 70, which is 0. 5, 7, 1, 2, 3, magnitude of T2 equals 450. Then you can add those together since they are like terms. 9, 7, 8, 1, 4, 8. So I get 1.549. I'm just trying to keep a bunch of decimals because I want them to actually work out nicely. Okay, then I'll isolate T2 by dividing both sides by that. So I'll do 450 by that and I get 290 newtons. What's the answer? 290. Sweet, I actually got the same answer. And then you could sub that 290 back in like for here to figure out T1. So it is possible to do it using components, but I personally think it's way easier to just set up your triangle and use sine law. But I also think that this questions with tension is a little bit unfair to people that haven't taken physics. But I did want to make a video in case you were interested in going kind of step by step and really slowly.